So we were just talking about how weird this feels. These have been the same four walls that we've lived in for a while, and outside is a completely different environment. I looked up at the clock, going, oh, it's nine o'clock. I should probably go to bed in about two hours because I have to wake up for work. And I'm like, wait a minute. I don't have to go to work. I'm not even living more. <laughs> I'm in Arizona. But I'm still in my living room. It's a trip. Yeah, you get caught up in the fact that like everything looks like normal and you want to go back into the regular motions of, oh, I need to, uh, I can do whatever I want because that's not the normal outside outside. <laughs> Especially when you close up the blinds. Yeah. Except for the one thing that's the constant the difference. Le the level of noise. Yeah, it's quiet. It's always quiet here. That's true. Super quiet. We lived on a really busy street, so you'd always hear vroom, vroom, and then you'd hear the, the cops pulling people over all the time, and oh yeah, like people drunk on a Saturday night screaming and yelling in the street. The and of course, what was that? What was that one cop that was on? There was a police officer that was on a motorcycle. Pull over and in the gas station. Yeah, you'd hear him, roop, roop. and I would hear that probably five times before I finally got out of bed. Mm -hmm. That guy was on rampage. It's nice to not hear that anymore. <laughs> but you know what? I, I couldn't stand those bumps. Those big bumps in the middle of the lane. Every time a car would go by, right? And then you'd have the guy that was changing lanes. Get over those bumps. Every time I heard those bumps, I swear to you, it was like a slight reminder of my accident. Oh, when the trailer goes over the bumps. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I almost. I never noticed that sound. Oh, no it wasn't probably predominant for you. Mm -mm. It was like. But it whatever. reminded you of. Yeah, it right was like a trigger every time, like. Traumatic ah, accident. Ah. <laughs> and, you know, honestly, yeah, I was thinking that. If we had planned on staying there for any length of time greater than we were, I was going to have some guys come down with their drag trucks and be like, oh, do me a favor and uh, remove my little uh, reflector bumps, come through one day, just wipe them all out in one good pass. <laughs> you talked about that before. Oh, uh, yeah. So it's nice to not hear that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no beat after today. We've been getting up early. This isn't like us. This is. We're like we're like the people who come home at midnight, hang out till like two, three in the morning, and then we go to bed and we wake up at like eleven. <laughs> and we woke up at what seven? Seven, yeah. Like woke up and got going. Yeah. Like we already... shower by eight. <laughs> we had breakfast. Lunch and dinner. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> we never have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're usually like nibbling on the go, running around, like grabbing whatever we can to shove in our mouth while we're working. <laughs> it's like it took something extreme, like packing everything into a small space and hitting the road, and now we act more like normal the quote, people. Quote, normal. <laughs> Weird. Oh, that's funny. Like, my mind is turning with what kind of crazy dessert idea we could come up with. <laughs> you have a sweet tooth? Yeah. We've got Oreos. We've got soft-baked cookies. That's true. I think I'll save dessert for... Do you want to do an episode of Dexter? Wait, 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 Yes. Sweet. I'll save the dessert for them. What are you going to have for dessert? Cookies? Uh, probably. <laughs> you put whipped cream on them. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Might not be getting out of bed at 7 tomorrow. No, morning. no. We're getting up early. We're going to watch the sunrise at the Grand Canyon. Take that back. I'm getting up really early. Yeah. Pretty... We should probably go to bed in like an hour, actually. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's eight hours of sleep, ten to six. 
I don't really need eight full hours of sleep. Okay. Well, I need eight hours of sleep. Okay, then. But you don't have to go to bed when I go to bed. Yeah, I might put some futz a little bit. <laughs> it's going to be another long day, which is good. Tomorrow's our last day here. Last full day. Mm -hmm. Checkout time's noon on Monday. Means back on the road. <laughs> so we want to catch the sunrise. We want you guys to see the sunrise. Um, the sunrise in Grand Canyon is supposed to be amazing. Then we're going to come back here. We're going to get our stuff together. I've got to organize the pantry because every time you open the door after it's been on the road, everything falls out. In my closet... It's a mess. Every time we get on the road, all my stuff falls. You can't open the closet door, and it sucks. Yeah, there's a few things that, now that we've gone a few hundred miles, quite a hundred miles, um, it, there's quite a few things that need to be rearranged, moved about. Well, the whole, the whole place is going all down the street. Yeah. So stuff falls down. You come in here, it looks like an earthquake happens sometimes. But yeah. when we get to the point where we come in here and everything's perfectly in place, you know we got it down. Yeah. And we're really not that far from it. It's yeah, not we, too bad, actually. It's, it's withstood really well. Oh, except for my vivarium almost fell off the shelf. That was that was scary. Yeah, was close it was like that far off the shelf. It was like... And there's my little froggy guy in there. We don't want him to fall down. No... He would be very mad. Yes. He would only have two feet after. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy's only got one little nubbish point on his left side. I got a, a clip of him with the video camera. Oh, nice. I took him in because he came out to eat some crickets. And... So you'll see what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, for three legs, the dude gets down. He gets around. It's not bad. And the dogs are done. Hmm. Yeah, They're not used out. to this active lifestyle. They're used to us being at work all day and then we come home and that's when they're active and then it's time for bed and they go back to sleep. So they're asleep all day and oh. we come, when we come home they're awake for a couple hours and then they're asleep all night. So Yeah, should get a close-up We're, we're Chuck. wearing them out big time. Passed out. Chuck's been getting sassy lately. He's been stealing her treats. He ate out of her food bowl. Sounds like someone's do. Sounds like Chuck Norris needs to be put back in line again. <laughs> I'm always acting out because it's all different, you know. Yeah, that's, that's a guy who is set in his ways. Yeah. This one, she's not so bad. She's kind of. She gets really nervous at first, but then she she adapts. Yeah, she adapts pretty quickly too. Smartest dog I've ever seen. You'll see. I'll show you some tricks. Hey, Chuck. Chuck, you awake? Chuck. You awake? No, oh, leave me alone. I'm, I'm sleeping. My eyes are closed. I'm sleep. Leave me alone. Still nothing. Dude's out of it.